In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to fold the sheet that comes with our little button journal kits. Um, we have a Macclesfield and Leak and a Dorset Ring button journal kit at the moment um, with hopefully more to come in the future. The first thing to do is to cut out your printed fabric sheet along the outer line. Um, I have stiffened this with starch, basically one part Kansashi starch adhesive and one part water. Saturated it, um, spread it out to dry and then ironed it and this gives a nice stiff finish um, just to make it easier for what you're seeing but I also happen to like the, way, the effect that it has on the cotton fabric. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to fold the sheet in half lengthwise so along this central line fold it and score it score it it's fabric press it if you haven't used starch you can finger press it as well okay then unfold it and fold it in half widthwise so you'll see there's a little mark just in the center so you need to fold it at that mark and again press or finger press unfold it and then you fold each of the two short sides in folding at the two lines so you've got one here at the end of that line and one here and this is again just to get your I fold so that the printed side is out but it does change as you put the whole thing together so fold one fold two so you have nice fold and crease lines on the fabric okay So it's all unfolded, and now you need to cut along this central line, okay? Now, the easiest way probably to do it is to fold it in half again, and then you can start it off by cutting on that line, okay? I like to then unfold it so that I make sure that what I'm actually cutting is on, on the line only cut up to the line that's crossing it. Do the same on the other side. Now you may wish to do this after you've done any embroidery, extra embellishments, and even added the buttons on. Um, that's entirely up to you. It, if you haven't sealed the central line, it can be easier to do that. And obviously, if you want to stretch and use it into an embroidery frame, you'd, you'd want to actually do that before you make the cut. And what I mean by seal is because I've got the Kansashi adhesive, it's not um, unraveling so much. You can also put just a bit of adhesive um, diluted Kansashi starch adhesive just on the line if you wanted to and that also helps to stop the edges from fraying. So you have now actually cut right at the center and then you need to fold it in half lengthwise again. All right now we're going to look at it from the top okay because what you need to do now is you need to take the two central folds pinch them in your fingers and pull out okay and you'll bring in until those meet and you end up with a cross shape okay and then that basically is your journal each of those lines that you previously folded will then sort of be permanently folded You can do this with a lot more care. 
than I am currently doing. But there's your cover. So we'll go cover, fold back, page and page. Bring that in. Because it's fabric, you need to fold, just move out those folds so that when it's on the actual sort of what's the spine area, you can get the edges lined up, bring it out, fold again, and then you can finish off your edges with whatever type of stitching that you want to do, uh, manipulate these a little bit better so that they're straighter and everything lines up a bit better than I've actually made it line up at the moment. And treat them as you wish. Um, one of the ways that you can do is cut a small piece of felt and pop it inside in between each of the pages before you actually seal up the pages. And that will give you um, a little bit something a little bit more substantial with your actual um, pages or you can leave them as they are as I said or you can starch them and obviously if you're placing if you haven't placed your buttons on yet now's the time to do it before you seal them up and then you won't see all your stitching where you've added your buttons and trim off any of the edges that you want and then you have your journal <laughs>